Hello friends and welcome to this Crypto Stacker video. My name is Dean. If you're watching my videos for the first time, please know I only make them for entertainment and education. You need to do your own research before investing in any of the tokens that I discuss. Today we're not talking about any specific tokens. I'm going to talk about five common scams that we've seen in cryptocurrency over the last year and give you some information so you can learn more about them and hopefully avoid them yourself. The first one we're going to start out with is a scam called a rug pull. Now, in a rug pull, a developer creates a token, they inject liquidity, they get everybody super excited about it, they use all the social media platforms and sometimes influencers, and people get excited about the launch, they start buying in, the coin makes a significant pump, and then the developers take the liquidity out and it comes crashing down, um, taking the investors' money with them, and they're off on their way. Now, everything I'm going to talk about today, I have an article that I'll link to in the description. I'm not going to read through them all, but you can go in and learn about the specific types of these scams. Um, but there you go. It's essentially developers stealing the liquidity. They limit your ability to get out in the process, and the price just dumps they've already taken the money and they're gone. You're unable to trade because there is no liquidity. All right, the next type of a scam is what's known as a honeypot. Now, a honeypot is a smart contract or that's how tokens are set up. They create what's called a smart contract and they will essentially allow you to buy in but will have restrictions or some type of a second trap door mechanism that if you try to move your money out, it gets captured or gets sent away to another wallet. Um, one of the ways I've seen this one done is the developer wallets will have a buy tax. A lot of us are familiar with those where you might have a 2% burn, a 2% 2, a 2 reflection, and maybe a 2% developer slash marketing wallet. On the buy side, on the sell side, they put in 100% tax. So it isn't that you're not able to sell back out of it. It's just that if you sell, 100% of it goes away to a developer wallet or to a, a capture wallet and people are unable to get their money back out. For these first two types of scams, there are things that you can do to try to look into um, you know, the legitimacy of projects. One particular uh, website called Certic does auditing on cryptocurrency projects. And you can see here in just the last couple of weeks, they are identifying a couple of rug pulls. Now, the problem with these, this one was called Hamster. On the second page, there's one called Baby Musk. They're identifying it as a rug pull. The problem is they've already occurred. As investors, we want to try to be out on the front end. So, you might look for projects that have already been uh, audited by Certic. There is another token project called TARP, or Totally a Rug Pull, kind of a tongue-in-cheek name, but the TARP developers are creating AI, smart technology, that will look through token contracts and identify potential problems for rug pulls and honeypots, other types of problems that might exist. Then they communicate with the development teams to see if the development teams want to fix those problems. Hopefully they do. Hopefully it's an honest mistake or an oversight. But if it's intentional, they'll try to notify investors so that we can uh, get some safety there. The other thing I can say is projects that are brand new have high levels of volatility and it's a higher possibility that you could lose your money in some type of scam activity. So buying projects that are more mature buying projects off major exchanges, um, maybe will lower the probability of you having to unfortunately participate in a rug pull or a honeypot. The next type of crypto scam I want to talk about is what's called a dusting attack. Now remember, every one of these websites that I'm pulling, every article that I'm pulling, I will link in the description of this video. So if there's something that's of particular interest to you, just click the link, check out the information more in depth. Now with dusting, what happens is malicious people will send very small amounts of cryptocurrencies, uh, some highly recognizable and some unrecognizable. Because that 
uh, cryptocurrency that they're sending is tagged to a specific block, they can identify that actual smart contract or the transaction, they can follow that through. They can try to break the anonymity of the person who owns the wallet because in cryptocurrency, especially in DeFi wallets, most of the time, though the addresses are public, the owner of the address or the wallet is not public. So they'll try to get uh, information about people and then use that information to extort people. Now, in other cases, they set these dusting attacks up to steal from people. So I'm going to show you in one of my test wallets here uh, some dust that's uh, right there in my own wallet. So you can see a, a few small projects that I've done videos on and I've purchased uh, tokens to make content. But as we go down, you start seeing things like this Antis Inu, one token, abshiba.com, 8 million tokens, this Key7Net. Those three right there are all dust tokens. They are not things that I purchased. I don't want them in my wallet, but the wallet doesn't really have a nice clean way for me to sweep them off of there. So um, essentially, if this happens to you, if you get some dust in your wallet, it's something that you didn't see, something you didn't buy, the best thing you can do is absolutely stay away from them. Avoid them, don't touch them, don't interact with them, don't try to sell them. If you do, some of these are encoded to essentially take everything else in your wallet with them on their way out of your wallet. So best advice, at least as far as I know up to this point, leave them alone. The fourth type of scam that I've seen uh, in cryptocurrency is a Twitter tactic. And so the tactic essentially is this. I just tweeted this literally uh, not even an hour ago, 30 minutes ago. Okay. So I tweeted, anyone else having issues with at Trust Wallet, at MetaMask, at Coinbase Wallet? So this will happen. People will have an issue with the trade and they'll go out on Twitter and say, hey, this happened to me with my trust wallet. Can somebody give me some advice? And then what will happen immediately is you will start getting responses from people with these Google Docs. Here's one for Coinbase, one for MetaMask, another one for Coinbase. Uh, there should have been one in there for trust wallet, but two, two for MetaMask. So this person, I had the same issue. I didn't even say what the issue was, but instantly I'm getting all these responses in those Google Docs. They will say, just fill out this form and our support team will contact you back immediately to help you resolve your problem. They ask for information like the seed phrases to your crypto wallets. And if you provide the information, they will clear out your whole entire wallet uh, quicker than you can blink. So this is one to avoid. Don't ever ask for help on Twitter with your cryptocurrency. If you need to ask somebody for assistance, try to directly message somebody who you believe is very worthy of your trust. Um, asking on Twitter, it's a surefire way of losing your money. The fifth and final way that people have been scammed, and this is the one that got me, I hate to admit it, my most popular video that I've ever made was on this particular issue. Um, but I woke up one day, I had taken sleeping medication the night before, way late in the night, had to wake up early and was perusing YouTube and saw a live with a developer. It says, you know, some outlandish claims. And this is when I was very new to cryptocurrency, but that they're predicting a 25 cent per coin and so I opened up the video and it looked like a live uh, AMA. So I clicked into it and it looked like a live video. Now there were some things that in hindsight were very obvious, like they had shut down all of the comments on there. No one could comment. I hadn't seen this video, but it was a recording of a previous video. So what they had done is just taken a previous AMA, put it into a video, and had edited in a giveaway that if you were to send some tokens to this wallet, you would get double the amount back as a promotion that they were doing for a special launch at the time. And 
I fell for it. It was horrifying. It was a lot of money. It was in the five digit category. You can watch the video if you want to see the absolute pain and devastation on my face as I'm explaining to an audience of people who watch my videos that I fell for a scam. But I felt a responsibility to make sure no one else had been scammed. And by the time I could get out my video, I got responses from multiple people that they also had been taken in the same scam. And these are out there for all kinds of different cryptocurrencies. So be very vigilant, be very careful. Don't ever send tokens to somebody in exchange for anything else, unless you're making a purchase with somebody that you know, or you're doing a swap on a regular uh, well-known exchange. Be very, very wary of the fact that there are people out there who are more than happy to steal your money. Cryptocurrency is new. There are a lot of us who are naive to how cryptocurrency works. We're new to the process. We're trusting and people are out there and ready to take advantage. So friends, I hope these five tips are helpful and useful for you. I hope uh, you never have to be involved in losing any of your cryptocurrency due to a scam. And uh, I thank you for spending your time with me today. Check back with me soon for more Crypto Stacker content. Please like this video and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and we'll see you very soon.